Nope, nope, nope. It's gonna not. It's gonna stop working. Fucking let's go, kid. Ugh! Hey guys, what's going on? Third Shit Reactions here. I'm Shane, and I'm back with The Haunting of Hill House, Episode 3. So, uh, the first episode dealt with Stevie, the second one dealt with Shirley, and it's focusing on how she is dealing with her sister, um, Nellie. Her sister committed suicide, she went to the house. But the last episode, we were dealing with, uh, I think, Shirley and her flashback scenes were her first, uh, you know, confrontation with death was those five kittens, and there's also five siblings. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Just, you know, make fun of me in the comments. Guys, before I jump into episode three, if you want to see the full-length, uncut reaction and all its scariness and all its tension, just go to our Patreon. Uh, the link is on the bottom. All right, let's jump in. Freaked out, huh? He's up a little. It's going to be the dead. It's going to be Nelly. Yeah, it's it's going to be the dead version of her. And then he's in too tight. Yeah, it's going to be the dead version of her. And then she's going to wake up. Nelly. Whose hand was I holding? And that's the first night I saw him. Mr. Smiley. Oh my god. From where he lives. I don't want to see them smiling asshole. What did you do? What does Mr. Smiley look like? Just a big smile. Too big. He's always smiling, but he isn't happy. That's freaky. That's really scary. It's kids like us who've been through more than other kids. We're tougher than other kids. We're great builders. We make ourselves really safe. She was telling me about Mr. Smiley. Yeah, yeah, we've heard about him too. We're more concerned about her behavior problems at school. We'll get to the bottom of it. Same time next week? Anything fancy, we can sell them. Trash. <laughs> what is it? Hang on. This is fancy. How did you know that? Oh. Here, let me see. Huh? What? It's like a telephone that for inside the house. Like an old school one? Yeah, really. You stay there. Oh my god, I don't want it to... Yeah, then to hear things, oh, it's got to take a toll on you. Stephen Crane. What's Dr. Crane's? I'm offering to share the book. I'll give each of you 8% of any royalties, and if it sells as well as my publisher thinks Jesus. it will, it's... Steve. I'm trying to do the right thing. The right sure. thing? Yeah. What, is the guilt getting in the way of your new lifestyle? We're not taking your money. None of us. It's blood money, Steve. You're welcome to every red cent. Dude, money's money, and it's green. It's not red. That's how I feel. Who is that? Sounds like Britney Spears. So I imagine these kids are right around my age, like in their early to mid-30s, late 20s. Yeah, it's just... Get the fuck out of there. How big is this house? Every kid is alone in a room. I can't be alone in my house even when I want to. Come on, you can be nice to her. What are you doing? Trying to take a ride in this elevator? Dumb waiter. They have that on a, like Home Alone 3 or something. Stupid thing. That the door has to be closed. It's not 200 pounds. Um, you hop straight out and you don't tell anyone I did this for you. 
Oké. Okay. Yeah, it's Home Alone 3 or something they have this. Hey! Oh, Leo! Luke! Leo! Luke! Bring me up, please! Oh no. There's something down here! Just hang on, I'm trying! Oh my god. Fuck it, let's go, kid! Pull his ass up. Here we go. It's okay. What, what happened? Did you rip your shirt? Must have got caught on the door. Sorry, Grammy. Watch your. What the hell were you thinking? Is he okay? Go to your room. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, God. That. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so. I wonder if they're going to be getting it on or someone's going to be dead. That's how they found out, okay. I love you. Can you get my dress? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Because I'm fucking angry. I don't want to have to tell them that I'm fucking pissed at Auntie Nell, who should have known better, better than most, what this does to a family. Okay, I see it there. I have a feeling that. She did it anyway. I have a feeling, man. We're gonna find out something about that situation that where it wasn't a, a suicide. Mom and Dad are still mad at me. They don't believe me. About what? Anything. I'm sorry. First, they said Abigail's not real. Does she have a power where when she touches people with her hands, that's she's like freaking Bruce Willis and Unbreakable? Maybe we can prove it to them. We keep seeing shots of her hands. All I would need to do is find the trap door. I would not open it. Are you kidding me, kid? Don't you ever watch movies? Nope. This is gonna sound really strange, but would you mind if I took a quick look down in your basement? Okay, so... <sighs> Damn it. This is terrible. Terrible! Out the camera. <sighs> really? <gasps> she could tell that he's a he's a rapist or I, some shit. 
She's got the Bruce Willis power. Oh, God. Good. My question is, how do you get someone to confess to something like that? You know those headaches I get sometimes? They started when I was a little girl. I see all sorts of... Your grandmother was like that, too. She was... sensitive. I've wondered if you and your sisters might be a little sensitive. Shirley says some things sometimes when she's sleeping that are... Sensitive people... They sometimes need... Well. So her mom wasn't crazy. She was in tune to what's going on with her children. If you're feeling overwhelmed and you think nobody will understand, you can talk to me about anything. Thanks. So she wanted to cut. Have a good trip. You know, I was pretty impressed by what you wrote about that night. What night? That night. Oh. The last one. Some wild stuff in there. That was really wild stuff, considering that you were asleep for what? Like, 99% of it? she getting critical? So what are you going to do with the money? Travel. I'm going to get my fucking PhD. Well, good for her. See? Something good came out of it. Oh, she's going to see what happened that night. She's going to know she didn't kill herself. I don't want anything on that ceiling. God. Hey, believe me, I'm I'm thrilled you called me. I just feel kind of weird about how I left the other night. And then last night at the club, you completely ignored me. Yeah. I found out that a nine-year-old that I was treating was getting molested by her foster dad. So, should we talk about your day or would you rather come to bed? I need you to get Luke and Nell to the car. You get in, lock the doors, don't unlock them until you see me come outside. Do you understand? Oh, it's happening. Get it's happening. Get them to the fucking car. Come on. Jesus. Touch me. That was a good cut. What a really good episode. Um, and there was a good amount of, of, of compelling story, backstory, and current timeline story. Her superpower, I think it's really cool. I didn't think the show was going to give me something like that. And the mother hasn't in any way shown me that she was crazy uh, I don't see anything wrong with her mom um, her mom obviously was sensitive enough to to Theo to realize that she has different needs and she might have what the grandmother had also the thing about the book so I think uh, you know my mom she lived in real poverty didn't wear shoes until she was like like 13 or 14 Maybe it was twelve, but she didn't wear. You know, she grew up in a in a very poor fishing village in a third world country, the Philippines, and uh, you know that was really poor. You know, money's green and it's not red. Um, uh, in in this particular case, uh, his case, I don't think it would uh, bother me. Now, granted, I don't have everyone's story yet. Maybe something terrible happened, and I morally couldn't accept that money. Theo didn't have a moral conundrum about it, and neither did uh, Luke. Not, is it Luke? 
Uh, yeah, no, no, Steve. Steve didn't have a moral conundrum about it either. Anyways, it was a really good episode. I apologize for being hard on Theo. I don't think uh, having an outlet that is, you know, predominantly going out and having sex with people you don't know is a good outlet. I don't want to harp on her anymore. I actually really like the character. Uh, I'm really interested to find out uh, a little more about her power and maybe if the show decides to uh, dive into it or not. I don't know. Uh, but, no, it's really good. I'm wondering which sibling they'll, they'll focus on next. Uh, definitely the scariest thing for me was uh, Luke in the basement. That was horrible. And guys, if you want to support the channel, leave a comment down below. Check out our Patreon. We have the next four on there. We have full-length uncut. See you next time.